go to Jesus. Last song. What can wash away my sins indeed? Well, good morning. Happy New Year, everyone. Come on in. Bring them in from the lobby. It's time for have church. Good morning. First Sunday, first day of the year. It's a praise the Lord day, amen. This is the best way to start the year every year, just getting together and worshiping the Lord, and especially today when we share in communion together. It's going to be a great time of celebration and remembrance of all that the Lord has done for us. And man, again, what, what a way to start a year together. Hallelujah. Are you washed in the blood this morning?
got to sing. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing flood? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? I sing it. Are you washed? Yes, I am. In the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Oh, would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil the victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. How about this? Would you be free from your passion and pride? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Come for a cleansing to Calvary's tide. There's wonderful power in the blood. Let me hear you. There is power, power, a wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, a wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, 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 wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. In the precious blood of the Lamb. Amen and amen. You may be seated. Good morning and happy new year. It's great to see you in the house of the Lord this morning. What a great way to get this year started. Amen. This morning we're going to take uh, communion together. And so praise God. That, that's definitely the, the best way to start out the new year is being with like-minded individuals taking communion together. Amen. Amen. Well, I want to welcome you, of course, to Believers Fellowship. For those in service and those joining us online, if this is your first time here, there's a welcome card in the seat back in front of you. I'd ask that you fill that out at the end of the service. would love the opportunity to meet you, greet you, put a free gift in your hand. And on a personal note, Gary, it's great to see you, brother. I know we've been praying for you, man. Praying for you, brother. Great to have you here this morning. Um, we are going to go ahead and go to the, read our script, do our scripture reading this morning. So if you'll stand as we honor the Lord with the reading of his word, we're going to be in 1 Corinthians 11 verses 23 through 34, and this is God's word. For I have received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, he took the cup also after supper saying, this is the cup of the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread and drinks the cup of the Lord in, the un in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. 
But a man must examine himself, and in doing so, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who dr eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick, and a number of you sleep. But if we judged ourselves rightly, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are disciplined by the Lord so that we will not be condemned along with the world. So then, my brethren, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. If anyone is hungry, let him eat at home so that you will not come together for judgment. The remaining matters I will arrange when I come. Let's pray. Father God, we just thank you, Father. We thank you for this new year, Father. We thank you for your promise that we can hold on to, Father. And Father, as we come to the table, Father, even right now, Father, I pray that you just reveal areas in our life that we need to seek forgiveness from, Father. If there's any area of our lives, Father, that, that is not of your will, that is, that is not of you, Father, I pray that you just reveal that to us, Father, so that we leave it at the altar, Father, and ask forgiveness of those sins, Father. Father, I pray those that don't know you, Father, Father, that today be that day, Father. Not only a new year, Father, but a new life, Father, a life with you and of, of you, Father. We thank you and praise you for all that you do. And it's in Jesus' name, amen. Please remain standing. Come to the table of mercy, prepared with the wine and the bread. All who are hungry and thirsty, come and your soul will be fed. Come at the Lord's invitation, drink from the nail scarred hand, eat of the bread of salvation. Drink from the blood of the Lamb. See if you know it, sing it. Come to the table of mercy. Prepared with the wine and the bread. All who are hungry and thirsty. Come and your soul will be fed. Come at the Lord's invitation. Receive from his nail scarred hand. Eat of the bread of salvation. Drink of the blood of the Lamb. Eat of the bread. Eat of the bread of salvation. Drink of the blood of the Lamb. Amen. You may be seated. You already read that passage. There's a verse there. Verse 31 and 32. If we would judge ourselves. Some people say, exactly what does that mean, judging ourselves? Well, obviously our judgment for all our sins has been taken care of. But we never really enjoy the results of what Jesus has done until our hearts are in tune with him, we're lined up with him. And what separates us from God, we know, is sin. It comes in all kinds of forms. Sometimes it's covert, sometimes it's overt, sometimes it's sins of motivation of the heart. It's, it takes on our part to, to obey the scripture and honesty and a transparency with the Lord. One thing we understand when Paul wrote this to the church, he was talking about a sacred time they would share together, a sacred time of remembrance and this is, it's a holy moment where we as individuals and we as the family of God come to a table to remember specifically a great event in human history, the precious offering of Jesus' life on the cross. What a moment in time that he comes and he gives himself as an offering for us. So for me to judge myself would mean that I'm willing to go to him and pray that prayer of David that said, Lord, examine me and see if there be any wicked way in me. Am I really willing this morning 
Even though I may have done the Lord's Supper a thousand times, but am I willing this morning, the start of this year, to get my heart in place to hear from God and let him examine me? I know this is a time of year where a lot of people are making resolutions and setting goals and all those things. But, folks, you can't get where you're going until you know where you are. Amen. And so what this is right here right now is a time of discovering where I are. Where am I in my walk with God? I need God's grace for this year. I need his anointing. I need his power. I need his presence and his faithfulness. But again, for me to experience it, my heart needs to be with him. So I'm going to ask you to bow your heads while we're worshiping in this song and singing this song. If you want to sing along at some point, you just join right in. But just for you to take a moment to have your own little altar right there where you are. Forget about others and things going around you. Just zero in on the Lord with your heart right now and examine yourself. And let God speak to you this morning. He rushed for our sin The punishment that brought us peace Was upon him And by his wounds By his wounds we are here He was pierced for our transgression And crushed for our sin The punishment that brought us peace was upon him and by his wounds by his wounds we are here He was pierced for our transgression and crushed for our sin. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his will, by his will, He was pierced for our transgression, and crushed for our sin. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, by his wounds we are here. And by his wounds, by his wounds we are here. By his wounds, we are healed. Father, we thank you that we are healed because of the wounds, the scarring, the pain, the agony, and the blood. All that it was done for us. We bless your name. I'm going to ask our servers to come at this time. We're going to pass out these elements this morning. Just remain in a spirit of worship and honoring the Lord Jesus and mostly remembering what the Lord has done. And I ask you as we do this today that you remember specifically as well what the Lord has done for you. These men, I want you to pass the bread tray to them and they'll, on receiving it, you gentlemen will serve our audience and then come back to the front. Survey. 
glass cross on which the prince of glory died my richest gain I found the wrong and for contempt no Bible says that Jesus took the bread and he gave it to them and he gave thanks. Let's do the same. Lord, how we thank you for the cross, for the beauty of your sacrifice. And Father, how we come to this table and realize that we need to come clean. And thank you that you provided the cross so that we, be, we may be made clean. As we take this bread today, we realize that you are the bread that comes from heaven. Born in Bethlehem, the house of bread. He said, you're the bread that comes down from heaven, will give life, eternal life, to everyone who believes and receives. And that your bread was your flesh. Thank you for giving your body. We do this in your name, Jesus. In remembrance of you, take and eat. It says in like manner. took the cup he said this is the blood of the new covenant my blood which is given for you there's no redemption there's no sacrifice there's no healing there's no cleansing there's no life apart from this sacrifice of the precious blood of Jesus these men are going to pass this out to you again ask you to hold on to it we'll pray and receive it together Gentlemen, you can pass it out. 
So deep within, how dark the stain of my sin. Start that over. I was broken so deep within, how dark the stain of my sin. My tongue can never repay. And your blood washed away every stain. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It washes. cross you chose to bear all the shame of my sin there how great the depth of my fall through your blood you covered it all oh, I sing the blood of Jesus, sing it, oh, the blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, it washes white as snow, it washes, it washes white as snow. It says as Jesus took the cup that he gave thanks over it. I still am in awe every time I look at that verse about how that he can come to this table explaining what he's getting ready to do, knowing everything in his mind already of what's going to happen. And it says, and as he offered it, he gave thanks to the Father. The Bible said he endured that cross for the glory and the joy that was set before him. Well, what was that? Our salvation. That we come back to the family of God and we can know him. So let's also, right there where you are, you give thanks to the Lord for the precious blood of the Lamb and all that he's done. Father, as we contemplate this sacrifice, Jesus, if we realize just on some level how much you suffered, even though we can probably never fully fathom it, we do realize there was tremendous suffering, tremendous heartache and heartbreak and sorrow and separation. All our sorrow, all our separation, all our sin was laid upon you. You became the sacrifice for it all. So, Lord, as we take this cup, Father, we thank you. And, Jesus, we do this in remembrance of you. Would you take and drink? You can be seated. Scripture says that as they left the upper room, that they sang a song. And now we don't know what song it was. It was probably a psalm of sorts. But I'll bet it was a redemptive psalm, a psalm of praise and worship. So why don't we stand together and let's sing a redemptive song of praise and worship and of the blood. Amen. Oh, what can wash away my sin? 
nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, nothing can for sin atone. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Not of good that I have done. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Sing it. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Sing the chorus again. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody say amen, then you can be seated. Amen, amen. A couple of closing announcements here. We have a new sermon series beginning next Sunday. It's Time's Running Out, so you don't want to miss that. You can see the uh, slide behind me. Also, don't forget that we are having, there is no Wednesday night service this Wednesday. No Wednesday night service this Wednesday. Um, and for our guests and first-time visitors, if this is your first time here, of course, we talked about that welcome card. I ask that you fill that out at the end of the service. We'd love the opportunity to meet you, greet you, put a free gift in your hand. Three, uh, don't forget to stay connected with us via Facebook or our website, bfchurch.com. Three ways to give, online, in person, or you can drop a check off in the office Monday through Thursday. Behind me, you can see the Christmas mission giving. giving uh, currently at 23... Go back 23000 almost just shy of $24,000, which is a praise the Lord. Amen. Let's get there today. It is never too late to give. Our goal was twenty five k, so we're almost there. And, of course, you can see where that money goes to. It goes to the Caribbean, uh, Belize, and other countries in the Caribbean. And, don't, and then finally, uh, on behalf of the staff of Believers Fellowship, Happy New Year. Uh, we're starting a new lift study, The Way of the Master. I'd love for you to come out and be a part of that. Our new lift study starts on the 8th. It's The Way of the Master. It's a video series. And so uh, we have a morning lift. We have an evening lift. And so for more information, you can definitely visit our website. So again, behalf on Believers Fellowship, Happy New Year, and God bless, and you are dismissed. <laughs>